Here we can talk a bit more about how to use the link click condition within marketing automation. And so, uh, as you probably know, uh, within you know the properties is going to be the most important part whenever you're working within uh, you know the different elements within marketing automation. And for the link clicked condition, you can certainly use it to start your workflow if you want, if you want it to be the starting element. But make sure if you do so that you have as well link uh, link tracking uh, enabled, click tracking enabled uh, in the message that you're sending. For example, a newsletter that you're about to send out and then you want to have this marketing automation workflow or an autoresponder or something else, another type of message, you do wanna make sure you've got a click tracking. And of course, it's usually a good idea to have click tracking enabled so you'll be able to check your email analytics and the performance uh, of the clicks in your messages, but that's just a kind of you know pre-warning is to make sure you've got that enabled. And then whenever you're ready to start the workflow, uh, within the properties, you can you know, specify uh, you know, exactly what type of uh, link and then the action that should be taken afterward. So you can track any link in any message. This could be, for example, handy maybe if you wanted to uh, apply scores automatically for people uh, anytime any link is clicked. You know, so anytime you were actually wanting to just apply a score to people based on your scoring strategy when they click a link, you could do it like that. And you could do, you know, any newsletter link, any autoresponder link, and so forth, any automation message link. Or you could, of course, specify any link from a specific message. So you could just specify what message and any links that are clicked. You could then, you know, do something after that. Or a specific link from a specific message. So you can choose exactly which link you want to, uh, you know, react to. That's probably a pretty common method as well. Uh, you know, a lot of times, let's say you send a message and then you want to know if it's clicked and then if it's indeed clicked or not clicked, you wanna take some action. For example, if it's clicked, you could, you know, send somebody in another message, give them a tag or a score. And if it's not clicked, uh, you could, you know, do something similar, send a reminder, tag or score or something else further. And another option within the uh, properties for link clicked would be this run multiple times a toggle switch that you have. And basically it means that uh, every time someone, you know, clicks a link, most specifically, each time they're classified as having, you know, click the link. So, you know, let's say I receive this message and I click this link, you know, six different times. Uh, then that means that the action that I had following the link clicked would be repeating six different times. So for example, you know, if you clicked, if you chose to send a message after a link is clicked and you have this on, you know, somebody will get that message six times. So that's an example of when you would not want to use run multiple times. But for example, if you were doing something very general, uh, so that like any time an automation, any link in any automation message link is clicked, run multiple times. And for example, I want to score. So that you know, every time someone clicks any link uh, that I send through automation messages, I can apply you know a score of five points. Let's say that's a time when you might want to be doing something like that. Uh, so that's another property to think about uh, within the uh, link clicked condition. But usually this would be set to off as is the default. And something else uh, to think about in the properties here, you have this when to when to assume the condition wasn't met. And so if you choose never. It basically uh, makes it so this negative path, non-clickers, uh, no one will ever go this path. It's just waiting forever for the positive path. So anytime someone clicks this specific link, you can apply a tag. And we never you know, assume someone who has received this message hasn't clicked. It's just always kind of waiting uh, for the click. But after some time, for example, would be how long, you know, after, from the time someone receives this message, uh, do we wanna wait? to assume that you know if they haven't clicked in one day, they're not gonna click. So I want for them to be classified as non-clickers. So you can see, you can you know specify it by you know two hours, one day, down to certain minutes, uh, things like that. I know you can specify. So definitely keep this in mind. By default, it's gonna be set for after some time one day. This is just kind of the default setting within the properties. Uh, so make sure you pay attention to that and actually think about if, it, if you actually want you know non-clickers to be addressed in any way or if this is something that just needs to follow the positive path of those who actually are clicking and so that's the way you'd need to actually be checking you know did they click this link and then let's say after a day they haven't clicked okay i'm assuming they would have clicked by now so then you know you would be tagging them as non-clickers or whatever it is you want to do and that's probably the most common use for actually checking uh you know if the link has been checked 
or er, clicked, of course. And then, you know, you could also do something where you stack a condition. Uh, these conditions of link clicked. So maybe let's say you've got multiple links. And so you can check, you know, did someone click this link? Yes, okay, sure. If they didn't click that link, we can attach it to another link clicked condition and then specify which link to check for here. So let's say you've got two links in a message you wanna see. Uh, if they clicked this one, if they didn't click this one, okay, check now, did they click this one? And then specify, you know, and it would be the same message. Just pretend that those are different links uh, for my example because you probably saw me configure this one and it's the same link, but just pretend. Uh, so if they did click this link, they'll go this path, whatever it is you decide to connect to it, a tag, a message, a score. And if they didn't click on this, okay, now let's check, did they click this particular link? This is another way that you might choose to use the link clicked condition uh, to be able to stack these conditions and check for within multiple links uh, within the message.